Hey, how's it going everyone? How are you guys doing tonight? Today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world. All right, so I've got a beer here. Yes, I of course I've got a beer here for you guys. This is called the LIGO or LIGO West Coast IPA. I, can't, I don't know if it's LIGO, LIGO, whatever. From Ecliptic, Ecliptic Brewing Company out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, I want to make sure they're out of Portland. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> yeah, Portland, Oregon. They were established in 2013. This is their Lago. This is about a month, month and a half ish old. Canned 4 8 22. And we're already into mid May, so. Um, end of May, actually. What was that? Four, eight, one, two. So it's actually a month and three weeks old or so. So Ligo, Ligo Lago is our take on a West Coast IPA with a firm yet modern. I'll tell you how it is. <laughs> All right, let's open this up. I, just, I didn't polish my glass. I just wet it. I washed it out. So there might be some uh, residue from the last beer. So I poured a nice firm, a nice uh, good aggressive pour there. Finger head almost. Go into the nose. It's starting to turn. It's about almost two months old. It's starting to get that Lipton tea kind of smell. There is a slight tropical, kind of a candied, candied tropical, candied mango, candied um, like old orange. Yeah, navel orange. Um, I want to say that I get some grapefruit pine in the nose, in the finish, like in the back. Um, it's already leaving great la uh, some great lacing there. The head retention is not super great, but it is holding a nice firm rim of head over the top. It's a nice, deep, rich, dirty golden color. I'd say dirty gold hazy more of a chill haze yeah more of a chill haze and more of a medium low rising bubble medium slow let's get into the uh, it's an op it's somewhat opaque it's not you can still see through it it's just a dirty honey or a dirty gold let's drink it cheers mouthfeel is spritzy Bursty with carbon, like kind of a, like a, um, like a hot carbonation. And I didn't. It's funny because I don't see that. Really in the car, it's kind of yeah. It's a, a little more of a medium carbonation, I guess. Um, medium lifting bubbles is what I meant. But uh, medium, medium fast carbonation in the in the. In the first blunt blow of this, the mouthfeel is, um, it's kind of a, hold on. Mouthfeel is kind of hot due to the carbonation. Bitter, um, kind of a bittering hoppy mouthfeel, um, if that even comes close to explaining how mouthfeel is supposed to be described. <laughs> Just a real poppy, um, kind of bitter, carbonated pop in the mouthfeel. The body is a medium for sure. It does have kind of a, a like an, it has a definite unfiltered um, sense to it. A lot going on. It's not super clean. It's murky in the mouth as well as in the look. 
It's um, pineapple, grapefruit, and pine. Resinous pine hit me in the back right now. It's got a very nice, rich, like, hardcore, punctual, kind of like, piney bitterness. But it's not so much as to where it's off-putting. It's actually pretty relaxed in the sense that it blends well with the sweetness. It seems very well balanced. Even into two months and almost turning two and a half months, I still get quite a bit of a nice hop um, pull. More of um, a citrus hop, citrusy, grapefruit, grapefruit rind, even a grapefruit prith, pith. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> prith. No, um, and I, I want to say there's a little bit of tangerine and like nectarine kind of thing. There's a slight um, a slight kind of papaya thing coming through, a little tropical, and mango. And then that pine and grapefruit rind really take over. Wow, in the finish. Very drinkable beer, very balanced, even after two and a half months or so in the can. These guys are awesome. Check out Ecliptic. They've got some great stuff. Um... This was, uh, I didn't mention it, but it was 6.5% uh, ABV. So, not, you know, I'm usually a 7.72, drinker. And it actually tasted like a 7.72, so it was very nice. Nice, rich uh, mouthfeel and body. Um, out of 10 hops, I, I, even at the stage it's at, uh, which isn't super old to be honest. I mean push after three you start get worried about with the IPAs uh, as far as uh, when it's canned but uh, out of ten hops I would give this um, I would give this nine nine point three hops It's really really delicious. I think it's a great West Coast. It's actually a little more mellow um, than some of the harsher um, even more filtered American IPA kind of uh, West Coast style Americans are they can tend to be a little abrasive in the finish. This is very relaxed So Ligo, I'm gonna call it Ligo Cheers six and a half percent. Go find some got this on a four pack for about 14 bucks or so Cheers. Have a good night day wherever you're from in this world beautiful world but Now for one more sip